ever feel like you're pushing hard, but just not getting anywhere. You're yeah. like caught in a rut, even though you're trying your hardest. Yeah. Well, today we're going deep on a theory from this yeah. YouTube video. Mm -hmm. And get this, it asks why most people live their lives ultimately gaining nothing. Hmm, interesting. Right, so let's unpack this. The video makes this pretty wild claim that basically the first seven years of our lives are like downloading the operating system for like everything that comes after. <laughs> wow, seven years. That's a pretty... I know, right? Oh. And it all goes down to this thing called the theta state. Theta state. Theta state sounds kind of out there. All right. It does sound a little mystical. Yeah. But it's a real brainwave state. Yeah. And yeah, it's super strong in little kids. Okay. Think about how easily a kid can just totally zone in on their imagination. Like they're gone in a world to pretend. Oh yeah, totally. That's Seda. So they're like in a trance, yeah. downloading all these beliefs about how the world works. That's what this video is getting at. Yeah. It's saying that our earliest experiences, especially when it comes to stuff like money success, even just what we believe is possible, it all gets lodged deep down in our subconscious, like during this super impressionable phase. Huh. So like if you grow up hearing money doesn't grow on trees, does that mean you're kind of programmed to struggle with money later on? That's the theory. You know, that reminds me of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Remember that book? Yeah. We talked about how our money beliefs often come from our parents and like our childhood experiences. Yeah. Even if we don't realize it. Yeah, absolutely. In this video, it seems like it's taking that idea even further, saying these early downloads are practically self-fulfilling prophecies. Right. It's not about pointing fingers at our parents or our past though. Right. It's more about recognizing just how much power those early years have yeah. on our subconscious beliefs. Yeah. You know? And then those beliefs, they end up shaping our actions and what we get out of life. Okay. So it's like we're walking around with these invisible scripts running the show mm -hmm. and we don't even know it. Exactly. And those scripts can be incredibly powerful. Wow. Okay. So then how do we even begin to change that? Well, that's where things get really interesting. So the video throws out this stat. Yeah. And it's a big one. It says that only 5% of our whole lives, like right. everything we do is driven by conscious choice. 5%? Yeah, the other 95%, that's all coming from this early programming we're talking about. Wow, 95%. I know. Right. It kind of makes you wonder if free will is even a thing. Or are we just running on autopilot like puppets following the strings of our childhood? Yeah, I see what you mean. It's a pretty radical idea. And yeah, the percentage itself might be up for debate. But the point it's making is huge. Think about it. How much of your day is really conscious, deliberate choice versus just going through the motions, reacting to things based on ingrained habits, thought patterns, you know? Right. Like when someone cuts you off in traffic. Yeah. And you have that instant reaction, like road rage.